Good morning, beautiful people. It's time for Social Media Trends on the Weekend Show. I'm Tando Chimelu, your host with the most, and I know you missed Social Media Trends last weekend. So to make up for that, I'll be giving you a double dose of all the recap of all the latest gists on social media from last week and this week. So we're starting with a recap of June, which we on The Weekend Show are tagging the month of epic weddings as we witnessed the nuptials between our very own superstar, Davido, and his longtime hot trub, Chama, my love. <laughs> the city of Lagos stood still as Davido shut it down at the Harbour Point Event Center in Victoria Island, the venue which was graced by the movers and shakers of Lagos. I'm talking about the likes of the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Shonwolu, the governor of Oshun State, Adimola Adeliki, superstar footballer, Victor Oshimen, and celebrity performers like P Square, Pato Ranking, and a stellar guest performance by Chike. Now the highlight of the wedding was Davido's tweet after the wedding. Now the next day, he made a post on X saying that the video of all the money where them spray us and wait till we carry go house, no day tally. <laughs> now that's a very funny one. Now, like I said, the month of June is our month of epic weddings as the brides and grooms and the newlyweds on the streets of social media have sworn not to let the singles breathe. Because just a few days after Chivido 2024, we saw the nuptials of Nollywood sensation Sharon Oja and her groom Ugo Moke. Now the two-day wedding which took place here in the federal capital last week had most of Nollywood's finest in attendance. All of these occurred amidst the release of uh, the new movie Oloture on Netflix, Oloture Season 2, which is a, a limited series as a sequel of the original feature film released in 2019, where Sharon Oja plays the role of an undercover journalist investigating a human trafficking cartel. A very big congratulations to Sharon Oja and her heart trouble as well, wishing them the best of love and friendship. Now on our next topic on social media trends, the floods in Lagos. Now the residents of Lagos are faced with severe annual flooding of their homes caused by the rise of sea levels, submerging cars and bringing many parts of the city to a standstill. Now, some expert meteorologists have come out to publicly name the increasing rate of sand mining and sand filling as some of the contributing factors to the frequent flooding situation. The Lagos State Commissioner of Environment and Water Resources, Honorable Tokumbo Wahab, reacted to a report of the inward third mainland bridge flooding situation as a flash flood, stating that it is due to the high intensity of rain, assuring citizens that the flood will recede in a few hours as soon as the high tidal level of the lagoon goes down. Now, this situation, the flood situation in Lagos is a recurrent one, and we begin to sound like a broken record because year after year, as the rain begins, we have to address the flooding, the flooding, and the flooding. And I think a permanent solution should be preferred once and for all. What do you think? Take to our social media pages on Instagram, X, YouTube, and comment. Tell us what's on your mind concerning the topics and the flooding situation, how the experiences are in your area, and what can be done about it. But finally, on social media trends, nobody will recognize Nigeria when President Tinubu completes his remaining seven years in office. The Senate President Goswil Akpabio, in his latest public address on Tuesday, made this statement while urging citizens not to worry about the challenges facing Nigeria, but only pray for the success of Tinubu's administration, saying it will pay off in the next seven years, clearly hinting at a two-term plan by the presidency. In his words, end quote, I have no doubts that by the time the president is through with his tenure in the country seven years from today, many people will not recognize FCT. They will not recognize Nigeria again, end of quote. Now citizens have taken to the streets of social media to express 
some of their opinions on this statement. We have some tweets here of the, the comments and the reactions of um, some of the netizens about the statement by the Senate president. The tweets should be running on the screens soon. Okay, we have this tweet from I am Kelvin BOJ. And he says, for some reason, why does this statement translate backwards to me, LOL? It's almost like he is saying that, it's almost like he's saying that we'll go finish Nigeria to the point no one will recognize it, LOL. The next comment on social media about this same statement, we have Chiamaka Ugo, and she said, they already counting two tenures for him when he has not completed one. Interesting. The next tweet concerning this, we have Eric underscore air, and it says, LOL, there is always two sides to a coin. Y'all brace yourselves for impact. And he ends with three laughter emojis. Now, what do you think about the topics on our social media trends? You can tell us what you think on our Instagram page on X. Like, share, comment. Tell us what's on your mind. Also, join our YouTube channel. Subscribe and watch a recap of previous videos in case you missed the show. Don't forget to follow yours truly at Tenderly on Instagram to catch up with behind the scenes and other information. Now, of course, we can't end social media trends without giving you our song of the week. Our song of the week this week is an interesting title. It's titled, Hmm, by Chris Brown, featuring David. And I'm sure you must have heard it on the street. Soja, Policeman, many, 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 many things. Okay, it's Sandra Chimbalu signing out, leaving you with the song of the week. Stay tuned. Up next is Entrepreneur Spotlight with I Should Be on the Weekend Show. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>